Hello and welcome to GameForce.blog. If you like our video blog format, let us know by leaving a comment and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you never miss one of our video blogs. Doing this will also help grow our audience on this platform. So sit back, grab some popcorn and enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Secret Combat Mechanics in Elden Ring by Donny LaCourse for GameForce.blog Introduction In Elden Ring, you will once again find yourself immersed in a world of knights, dragons, and magic. In the quest to find the shards of Elden Ring, a tarnished has to search the lands for the shards of the mighty ring. The key to advancing in Elden Ring mods, as in all RPGs, lies in combat. It is necessary to have effective combat skills in order to defeat NPCs and bosses. The more you master the skills we discuss here, the more fulfilling and exciting your experience will be. In this video, we will recommend skills that will help you when you are in combat. Chapter 1. Deflect Attacks with Good Parry Skills The ability to parry an attack may be possible if the timing of your parry is just right when the attack is thrown, in order to mitigate the damage and stagger your opponent, you will be able to parry an attack in order to leave them vulnerable to follow-up attacks. It is important to note that not all enemies can be parried, and some enemies may require multiple parries to be successful. As an example, Melenia, Blade of Micaiah, needs to be parried three or four times before she is dazed and vulnerable to attack. Game tip number one. Master parry timing. Depending on what shield you are using, you will need to know the exact timing of the parry window for that shield. A key to a successful parry is to observe your opponent's hand, not their weapon, in order to make a successful parry. Due to the smaller size of the shield, parry windows are usually faster than shield windows due to the fact that they are easier to work with. However, we must be mindful that not all physical attacks can be parried, so it is important to keep this in mind you should always keep an eye on the hand that holds the weapon regardless of whether the enemy uses a large weapon or not. As soon as the hand moves forward, the parry should be thrown out. Game tip number two. Practice with smaller shields. It is best to practice this method with small shields, since their parry window is a bit more tolerant. Using a parry against a wall will enable you to check the shield's parry timing. To do this, Simply walk up to a wall and parry against it. In order to indicate that the shield is about to parry, sparks will appear on it at the precise moment it is about to do parry. Chapter 2. Master the Art of Two-Handed Combat Elden Ring allows you to use two-handed weapons and shields depending on the platform on which you are using it. Tap the hand slot you want to two-hand with once you hold the button that shows your quick slot menu. Game tip number 3. Two-handed is better than one. Using weapons and shields two-handed provides a higher level of attack power than using them one-handed. But when using them two-handed, they require more stamina per strike to use. The use of two-handed weapons also gives you the ability to perform a wide range of additional moves, especially when dealing with larger weapons. Despite this, you should keep in mind that, if you use two-handed, you won't be able to use the shield's defense, which means that you are going to have to rely heavily on dodging in order to avoid being hit. Here are the two-handed controls by platform. For the PC, press and hold the E button, then left-click or right-click. For PlayStation, hold the triangle button and then press L1 or R1. Also, hold the up button and then press L1 or R1. Xbox. Xbox One or Series X, hold the Y button and press the left or right button. Chapter 3, Elden Ring's Guard Counter Move A guard counter is a method of counterattacking after an attack has been blocked by a defense. You are able to maximize your chances of success if you counterattack as soon as you have defended against an enemy attack by counterattacking immediately following the attack. As a result of guard counter, you are able to break the enemy's stance, so that you are able to land a critical strike on the enemy. Game tip number 4. You will be at risk. 
If you guard against an enemy's combo, you will leave yourself vulnerable to being damaged by the enemy. Prior to using the guard counter, you need to make sure that your opponent hasn't followed up with another attack. Game tip number 5. How to defend yourself. Defending yourself against an enemy attack begins by blocking every attack that is launched by him with each button. In order to unleash your powerful attack on the enemy, you must first perform a guard counter. Then press R2 or RT to unleash your powerful attack on the enemy. There is no doubt that guard counters are one of the most effective techniques to master in Elden Ring combat, due to the fact that it is easier to time than parries. Chapter 4. Using Power Stance with Dual Welding Weapons Generally, Dual Welding, or Power Stance, refers to equipping the same type of weapon in both hands at the same time. It is possible to use both weapons at the same time by pressing the default button on L1. In addition, stat-inflicting weapons become even more effective when both effects are applied simultaneously, making them more effective at breaking through defenses and dealing more damage to targets. Game tip number 6. To verify you are in power stance. In order to enter power stance mode, you need to hold two weapons of the same type, one in each hand, at the same time. As soon as you enter power stance, you will become more powerful than before. While swinging both weapons at the same time, press L1 in order to add more damage. Chapter 5. Learn to Backstab in Elden Ring. The backstab attack is one of the most critical attacks you can perform against humanoid enemies around your same height. To perform a backstab, you need to align yourself directly behind your enemy in order to perform a successful attack. Hold down the R1 default button when you are directly behind them. This move will display a different animation than a basic attack if it is executed correctly. The enemy will either be killed or downed as a result of the attack. Game tip number 7. With a weapon in your left hand, there is no backstabbing. In the event that you have a weapon equipped to your left hand, you will not be able to perform backstabs. Also, it is best to use the backstab move when your enemies are separated from one another, so that you can knock them out one at a time. Chapter 6. Learn these hidden combat mechanics in Elden Ring. It is important to note that Elden Ring has a number of hidden combat mechanics that have not been explicitly explained or taught to the player. It is very important that you learn these in order to be able to use them in combat. The following is a list of some of them. Game tip number 8. Sneaking increases damage. If your enemy does not see you, you will damage them more even if you have not backstabbed them. Among the ways, you can accomplish this is by sneaking behind your enemies, for example. Game tip number 9. Enemies have a hidden poise meter too. In spite of the fact that they aren't shown, all characters have poise, even the bosses, there is a direct correlation between poise and the size of one's opponent. In the process of attacking them, the poise meter on their body will fill up as you attack them. As a result of powerful attacks, heavy weapons tend to fill up faster than their lighter counterparts. Taking away an enemy's poise leaves them vulnerable to critical attacks. Game tip number 10. Enemies have status effect meters too. Every enemy or boss in the game has a hidden status effect meter that fills up as soon as an attack or spell inflicts a status effect on them. To trigger these effects, however, you must continue attacking them, as stopping will slowly decrease the meter as it ceases to function. Despite this, enemies may be immune to some effects, so caution is advised. Game tip number 11. Use two hand shields. Shields can be held in two hands at once when blocking. You can use this to give yourself more stability. If you wish, you can also use it to attack. This also works with guard counters. Game tip number 12. Learn horseback mechanics. You can deal more damage by double-handing your weapon before mounting torrent. When using a two-handed weapon, the animations remain the same, but the damage is clearly different. Game tip number 13. You can use partial parries to your advantage. 
Whenever you parry early and are in the recovery animation, or whenever you parry an attack that cannot be parried, you will experience partial parries, even though you don't mitigate the damage, you take less damage than you should have, and you don't become stunned or dazed. Game tip number 14. Learn how to flip. By tapping the dodge button while charging a strong attack, you can perform a flip with a curved sword weapon. Before the attack animation begins, you need to press the button to perform a special flip back. Game tip number 15. Wait for better weather conditions. Some attacks are actually affected by current weather conditions. You will deal less fire damage when it rains. You will be able to deal more lightning damage when it is sunny. In addition, lightning attacks on the water can cause additional damage. Game tip number 16. You can attack through walls. Your weapon will bounce off a wall when you attack it, but if you jump while attacking, it will pass through it. This is particularly useful when you're trying to hit an enemy on the other side of the wall. Game tip number 17. Mashing buttons will end grabs early. If you want to break an enemy's grip early, you can press multiple buttons simultaneously. It may be possible for you to avoid being stunned or knocked down in some instances. Conclusion Well, we have reached the end of the video. We want to thank the following sources that helped make this video possible. Please follow their links in the description below. We also again ask you to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you never miss one of our videos. Thank you again. Now, where did I leave my shield?